So welcome guys, uh, welcome to our Tungal uh, Day Pradesh. Today, with the help of Bavarad sir as well as Krishna sir, uh, we are uh, demonstrating uh, the process of uh, nuclear staining by using the onion peel. Just uh, taking a piece of onion. Uh, now Krishna sir is going to demonstrate the process of uh, nuclear staining of uh, onion peel. Okay. So now I will hand over the setup to Krishna sir. Later on we will observe the results with help of our microscopes. Now I start the experiment. First one, we know the requirements of the activity. First one, this is a, a small piece of the onion bar. This is a pair of forceps. These are the needles. This is the brush. This is the watch glass containing water. This is the watch glass containing the water. This is the dropper. This is the slide. And this is a cover slip. It's water. And this is the saffron mixture. And finally, this is the compound microscope. First one, we know the, the different parts of the compound microscope. This part is, it is called as the eyepiece. This is the body tube. This is the pore adjustment. This is the point adjustment. This structure is called as the R, this is the stage, this is the clip and this structure is called as the inclination joint, this is the stage, mirror, condenser and the base. This compound microscope is used to the observe the, the simple or microorganisms or the, the simple cells. Okay, now I start the experiment. Let us take a small piece of onion bulb and feel of the skin of the onion bulb with the help of forceps and put immediately this layer in the watch glass containing the water because of this water it prevents the, the getting dry or getting folding. It prevents from the uh, dry and the folding. Then the small piece of the onion peel, it is transported into the slide. First one, put a one drop of water on the slide. Transfer this, this small piece of peel into the slide and add one drop of sharpening solution. Add one drop of saponin solution on the peel. And then <laughs> now heat gently for few minutes. Okay. After uh, adding the strain and uh, boiling the slide for a while, uh, we should remove all those excess, excess strain from the slide because uh, when we put the slide on the microscope, the slide must be uh, transparent. 
that means on the slide we must see only the material what we have kept for observation for example uh, now we have kept uh, onion peel so uh, anyway slide is transparent cover glass is transparent but only the material should be visible under the microscope so for that purpose we have to uh, wash the excess stain just by adding water with the help of a dropper later on by using blotting paper remove all those water drops from the slide either from the upper slide of the upper side of the slide as well as from the lower side of the slide so that our slide will be completely clean and transparent With the help of needle, now we have prepared the temporary mounting of onion film. Then it is observed under the compound microscope. So when we focus the prepared slide on the microscope, this is how the cells look like. This is the actual image what we observed under microscope, usually on the 10x of the microscope. So to level some parts, the cells are usually rectangular in shape. Cells are rectangular in shape with a peripheral nucleus. Usually in plant cells, as the there is a central large vacuole, the nucleus is pushed towards the periphery, and as usual, the cell is covered by a cell wall, and uh, within that there is a cytoplasm in the cell. So this is our experiment to show to demonstrate the nuclear staining by using the stains okay so i hope you have understood the concept very well we'll discuss few more experiments in our further videos thank you